common thing I see in my practice, 40% of my practice every day is plantar fasciitis. All of us have a very strong fibrous band on the bottom of our foot. It starts here at the heel bone. It's as wide as the heel bone, but then as it courses the bottom of our foot, it spreads out into three bands. It spreads out into a lateral band, a central band, and a medial band. For years, more and more Americans have been getting pain typically right here on this bump. Um, and less commonly in the plantar fascia ligament itself. And those people wake up first thing out of bed in the morning, they put their foot down and, oh my gosh, that doesn't feel good. And they hobble around a little while and blood flow gets in there and it warms up. Up until three or four years ago, we were calling this plantar fasciitis, which if you, if you know what ITIS is, it's inflammation. So whatever body part has an ITIS, tendonitis is an inflammation of a tendon. Um, we thought in the past that these people were pulling their ligament off of the heel bone and making a bone spur, and that was what was causing the problem. So for years, we would jack up the arch to try to stop the pulling of the heel bone. When that didn't work, we would inject with cortisone, we would give pills, and we'd send to therapy. Um, unfortunately, a lot of that still doesn't work for a lot of people. So a gentleman that I trained under in Philadelphia, Dr. Harvey Lamont, did a study that we've got a copy of on our website and at our clinic. And any of the stuff that we talk about today, if you guys want to look at it, we'll get copies of, of that to you. But what I like about Dr. Lamont is if there's something that's going on in podiatry that's on the rise and we are not doing a very good job of treating it, his interest is digging a little deeper. What are we missing here? What can we learn more about this condition? So he took 50 of his clients who didn't respond to orthotics and therapy and cortisone and all the things that we do, and he took them to surgery. And he actually released their plantar fascia ligament, which is going on today somewhere here in Portland. If you have chronic plantar issues, there's a lot of surgeons that will just cut, cut the ligament. Um, during the time of cutting the ligament in 50 of his clients, male, female, young, old, heavy, light, um, he harvested a piece of the plantar fascia ligament. And his idea was, I'm going to look at this under the microscope, and I'm going to figure out what kind of inflammation this is. Because Dr. Lamont's a dermatopathologist as well as a podiatrist. So he's got expertise in studying sample, uh, sample types of tissue. There was no inflammation in any of these people. 50 of them had no inflammation. Um, but what all 50 had, we all find kind of remarkable, they all had dead tissue or necrotic tissue. We call this fasciotic tissue, fasciosis. So Dr. Lamont reasoned that all of us should really start thinking differently about how do we treat this problem. Um, and to, to your question, what Dr. Lamont found is something is shutting off blood supply to the medial calcaneal tubercle, because that's the only way your body gets dead tissue. It's not, being, it's not being regenerated. The best example of dead tissue that I see is in folks that get gangrene. They literally don't have blood supply, their body part dies, gets cut off. That's, that's the prime example of fasciosis. But what Dr. Lamont found when he took these tissue spe specimens is there was no blood flow getting out into it, I should say, and there was no blood flow washing the stuff out. When your big toe gets pushed over towards your second toe, tapering toe boxes, and lifted up, toe spring, Whoever we use as our example um, will notice that we will all see the medial part of their heel tissues will be pulled distally. So in other words, as we take the toe and put it into that shoe position, everybody in my clinic can see how the muscles back here pull this way. The problem with that is if you feel the pulses behind a person's ankle, that's their tibialis posterior pulse, that artery has to go under a specific muscle on the inside part of the arch, and that muscle is called the abductor hallucis. Abductor hallucis is a triangular shaped muscle right here. This is its tendon. It attaches out here on the end of the great toe. When shoes push the toe over and lift the toe up, this tissue is being yanked that way. The blood supply is right here. Sure, sure. So essentially, if I bring my toe over and I lift my toe up, you guys can see those tissues changing. Can you see it from where you're at? So what Dr. Lamont reasoned is the blood supply here has to go under the muscle and retinaculum to supply this area. And what he further reasoned that I agree with is when your great toe is over here, 
we don't completely cut off your blood supply, but we cut off enough of it so you're not infusing and you're not washing the stuff out. And the way we cure plantar fasciitis is we change the footwear. We actually don't really do anything to the patient's foot other than stretch the top of the foot again, because you'll notice this is putting those muscles into that shortened position. I'm forcing blood out of the foot. So this is one of the stretches that we do, and we, so now we call this plantar fasciosis. And we've got an article on the website called plantar fasciosis that talks through the shoe characteristics, it talks through, we also use a metatarsal pad for that too. Many of these conditions where the foot is being stretched like this, we use a metatarsal pad to extend those toes. We're not using an arch support or an orthotic back here to tilt the foot. We're actually empowering the foot to use its front part of its foundation. This is the front part of your arch. This is the front support end. This is the back part. Your calcaneus is the back part. If both of those are flat and level and the front part spread out, as we talked about, that foot's really not going to move. But as we're talking about, most of us are here. So wobble, 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 knee pain, hip pain, back pain, fasciosis. I love running. I love running. I love running. I love running. I love running.